And welcome back, Askey here with another guide for Banjo Kazooie. Today's walkthrough is on getting extra honeycomb pieces in Click Lock Wood, and this will be our final part to our extra honeycomb piece series. Just two more containers to go, and they're actually both located in the winter season of Click Clock Wood. However, there is the slightest amount of setup that we have to do inside the summer season, so we're dipping in there now. And we're going to run over here, and we're going to break open this rock. Now, it's probably apparent, but I've already opened up all of the seasons in my save file here. If you're having trouble with that, if you don't know where the switches are, you can check out my music note guide on this level. I happen to open up all of the seasons as I was running around collecting the music notes. Anyway, though, now that we're done in summer, we're going to cross over to the other side of Click Clock Wood and get into the winter map. No love for the fall or spring maps on this video, I'm afraid, which kind of makes you think, wonder why both of the extra honeycomb pieces are in the winter map and not spread out a little bit more, but I guess I didn't design the game. Anyway, though, we're going to be doing some flying now. We're going to head on over here to Mumbo's hut, and he's got a flight pad just out front. So we're going to get up on into the air, and we're actually going to be flying up near uh, Nabnut's place, the little squirrel that you see in the other seasons. Now this part is actually a lot harder than it looks, I think. At least I have trouble with this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the uh, Beak Bomb ability to break the window, like a second story window, and then you got to kind of fly into that <laughs> tiny little space. So I'm going to kind of Whip, my, whip Banjo and Kazooie around here, trying to get the timing right. Because, um, you know, you kind of slowly descend as you're flying, and I kind of use that to uh, kind of try to wait until I'm at the right level before I try to dedicate into entering that little tiny area. But anyway, now that we're inside, here we go. And those guys are jerks. I'm going to end their lives. And I'm going to do a backflip and get what I came for. So we are down to just one more extra honeycomb piece left in the entire game. Very exciting. And we are going to head back outside and climb down the tree safely by hurling ourselves from almost the top of it. And we're going to run back around and we're going to be heading back to uh, Naughty's place. Because yes, we destroyed the boulder in summertime, which means it will still be gone in wintertime. And we are going to plunge ourselves into the ice water and try to get into his little den before we suffocate. Now, the timing of this is actually quite tight, um, even with a pretty good line, if you will. Uh, you, I usually only have about two bubbles of air left. I'm going to call them bubbles. I think water, water honeycombs probably doesn't make sense. But yeah, you don't really want to be screwing around too much here. You kind of want to go straight for uh, the beaver's place because you don't want to, uh, well, you don't want to die. Pro tip from Haskey, you heard it here, you don't want to die. Try to avoid it. And anyway, we're going to pop up here. And we're going to collect our last extra honeycomb piece. And unfortunately, we're going to get absolutely nothing from it. <laughs> watch, I was, I, was I was talking about this in Gobi's Valley. Watch, watch how much health we get from that. And nothing, as far as maximum health goes, that is. So yeah, that last uh, last set of extra honeycomb pieces, unfortunately, does not actually increase your health. So it's just kind of for bragging rights. Anyway, though, it looks like it's about time to close out this series. If you're just tuning in, this is the last walkthrough of a playlist I made on collecting all of the extra honeycomb pieces in Banjo-Kazooie. So if you are struggling to find any on any other level, any specific level, make sure to hop onto my channel and do a search for that level, and we'll see if we can help get you those as well. I'd like to extend an extra special thanks to anyone and everyone who stopped by to give any of these videos a watch. If you found any of them useful, please consider subscribing to the channel or liking a video. It doesn't cost anything but a moment of your time, and it helps my channel grow. Either way, though, I appreciate you hanging out for this one. That's going to do it for me for now. Stay tuned for another walkthrough sometime in the future, and I will see you in the next video.